Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another collaboration for you. Today I am collaborating with Shirley from Shirley's Beauty Discovery. She's a lovely YouTuber and she's so nice and she does a lot of unboxings and makeup looks and declutters and empties but she does block them into one like I have done so she'll have some empties and decluttering items in one so yeah she does a lot of all that stuff she's a lovely lady so I will leave her channel in the description box for you so you can go over and check her channel out and send her some support and tell her I sent you also so we decided we was going to use the W7 Queen B palette because we obviously because we both have it so i'm going to swatch this palette at the end for you so if you don't want to see the swatches it doesn't matter i'm not going to be offended so the palette looks like this i've taken the weird brush sponge applicator out because i don't use them so i'm going to put these shields on my eyes and some ears Just so my hair doesn't go in the way. I've done the base on my face and primed and blushed and beaming to the gods with the highlighter and all of that stuff. So all I need to do is the eyes. I've done brows as well. Saves you watching the painful experience because it is one. So I'm going to just place these. And to my experience of going in with that palette, it isn't really fallouty. If that's a word. So I'm just going to place them there. That looks okay to me. So let's see. Got my brush here. And let's have a look. I think what I'm going to do, because this palette has the names on the back, so I'm not going to refer to their names until I do the swatches. So, yeah, I know what I'm going in with, I think. I'm going to start just laying that shade down there as a transition shade. So, if I put my mirror in there, I can use it like that. Just check you can see what I'm doing. Got natural light again today along with my ring light and the ceiling light. And it seems to be working better. And the sun was out earlier on and then it went back in immediately as I was filming. What are you trying to say, weather? Anyway, I can see, so it's fine. I have been watching Shirley's channel for quite some time. And I'm hugely behind, Shirley. I'm majorly behind on your channel. I have to have a binge watch, so you're going to get a barrage of likes at some point. And she's got a really nice channel. Such a nice channel. I really enjoy watching it. So there, we've got the transition shade down it's more of a skin tone can't really see it just clean off that so now i'm going to go in with the shade here i think i'll just use that one so i'm just going in with that shade it's a little kickbacky but nothing major i nearly forgot then what i was doing which doesn't help 
So I'm just going to pop that in the crease now. As you know from experience, if you've watched my videos for a while, I don't do all this fancy stuff and out of corner stuff because I can do it, but it takes me so long to get it to look right that I just like to do what I do. So, just something simple that everyone can do. Yeah, I can sort of see that. It's not the most pigmented, but I'm sure I can build that up. It's a nice palette. It's blending really nicely. And this palette is the dupe, supposedly a dupe for the Urban Decay Honey palette. Yeah, you can see that. It's not mind-blowing. I may just go in and make it deeper. And if you look at the Urban Decay Honey palette and look at this one side by side, it's pretty damn close, I can tell you. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. That seems a little bit meh. You can build it though, I've seen. I've seen. I'm noticing that it does build. I prefer shadows that don't need to be built on. Just go on at the colour they are. But it doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. Yeah, you can see that. It's okay. I am going to deepen that because clean my brush here, take some coffee, and then I'll deepen it up. I almost got a wet mouth there. Right. Yeah. Thinking maybe I'll deepen it with. Let's blow that. That shade there, it's just slightly darker. I will do these quick swatch. Yeah, it's a little bit similar. I'm going in with a darker one there. And I'll just pop that on top. Try and Give it a bit more depth. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's working enough. filming this on a Sunday not that it matters to anybody I wanted to film this yesterday but this house was so noisy up and down the stairs everyone was going and talking and that and I thought how can I film you not talking like this it's not possible and I can't say anything so I just thought I'll roll with it do it Sunday morning Yeah, it's looking a bit weird on the corner, but I'm sure you it's not. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Right, let's deepen it up enough. 
excuse me so the next shade i'm going to go in with is that one there and i'm going to pop that all over the lid oh that is stunning that is just gorgeous try and put this down so you can see what i'm doing I tend to put it over my face oh that's gorgeous shade i really like this Wow, to me it kind of looks patchy on this camera, but it's not, it's definitely not patchy. Just must be the way the light's hitting it. Oh, this is really nice. It, the whole palette in general is just blending so nicely. I'm not having an issue with it at all. Lovely. Really nice. W7 have really surprised me because I wasn't actually expecting that much from it. And there you are guys, that's gorgeous. I'm really happy with that. I might just pop a little bit more there. When you've got wrinkly lids, it tends to make it look patchy, even though it isn't. So, you keep going in and there's no need to. Still doing it. I don't learn, that's why I end up sitting there doing an eye look for half an hour. Right, there we go. I'm leaving it there because it looks fine. Wow, I'm a bit blushed today. So I'll clean my finger and those two swatches I did. Just see if I got any corn in the corner of the eye, although I pretty much got that because I put the shield up. So that was a clever way of doing that and I didn't even know I did it. Right, there we go. So I'm going to pop a colour on the lower lash line. I oh, really should have cleaned that brush last night. Right, it's fine. When you work with blue eyeshadows, they really stain the brushes. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is just pop in the colour let's see i'm going to deepen it so on the lower lash line i'm going in with this shade here so i'm so used to just pulling a palette right up to my face How? I didn't want to do that. These shades though are so soft. You're in shadows. Uh, slight issue with my shaky hand, but I work with it. I don't know doing the fish face again so there you go there we go again there we go guys as you can see once i get my words out it works okay just going to pop a bit more under that one because it seems a little bit lighter yeah that's better so let's see 
I'm going to go in with a little pencil brush and do the brow bone and the inner corner and I'm going to use this shade here which looks matte in the palette but it is it has got a bit of shimmer so I'm just going to do that hoping it picks up that it's a bit shimmery yeah I think it's doing that Just yeah, that's done that, and I'm going to go back in that one and do the inner corner. Yeah, that really picks up as you can see. So, let's take these shields off. Yeah, looks okay there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I always feel like it's pulling off the concealer, but it's definitely not. Okay, so I need to do eyeliner. Let's see, what do I want to go with? I think I'll go with black just to keep it all neutral. Go a bit. Come here. Mm. That's it. Some bit of spell. I don't know what that was. There we go. Just pop on some mascara, my usual essence one. Sorry, I don't talk through this. Just concentrating. I'd speed it up, but it's only like a minute or two.
we go. So I'm going to take these off. There is a look guys. I'm fairly happy with that. It looks a bit samey coloured. But I'm not mad at that. Sometimes that's just where you want it to go. So I've got a different table in here today. So I look like I'm closer. So I'll pop these glasses on and do the swatches. Right. So I'm going to just swatch the whole palette from left to right and then I will tell you the names. So let's take this bangle thing off. Always forget that. I'm not finished. I haven't got lipstick on. So just, oh, that's around it. Let's get hold of that. Just going to put the soap lipstick on in cake. There we go. Now we're finished. I always forget the lippy, so yeah, as you can see, it's finished. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, you would already seen that. So now we're going to swatch. So just put these on my arm. Yeah. Actually, not feeling as soft as I thought I was, but it's still really nice. So I'll tell you the shades in a moment. They're a bit of a untidy swatch, aren't they? Right, so we have milk. As they say. Comb. Nest. Bumble. And Manuka. So I'll swatch the next ones. I have no idea why I'm doing it this way. I'll tell you what, we'll do the shades again afterwards because that was a bit of a messy way of doing it. We'll try that again. I don't know why I did it that way. Confusing myself. Right, last two. And I'll just pop them there. Worst shade is in the work. Why am I going on about the worst swatches ever? So I'm sorry about that, guys. And he wiped it off then. Right, we'll go again. So, milk, comb, nest, bumble. As you can see, milk, it is a shimmer. Uh, Manuka. Buzzing, raw, royal, nectar, sting, sugar, and pure. So, yeah, it's not a bad palette. Okay, it's not the best quality I have, but it works well, it blends out well. And you get a really decent look with it. 
It's a great beginner palette for anybody starting out in makeup or you know anybody starting out in makeup. Um, pick this up for £7 off Amazon. Around £7 I think it was. Could have been 6 Not quite sure. I will link it in the description below if I find it. But yeah, it's a nice palette and I do enjoy using it. So guys, that is the look. That is the video. I will see you again soon. As I say, I'm going to pop Shirley's channel in the description box. Please go over and watch her video. Watch all her videos. She is amazing. And you will really love her comment. Um, you will really love her content. I am absolutely certain of it. So I will see you again soon. Say so goodbye everyone. Sing it out at street level. Low boost the bass and twist the tree.